Let's go to question number seven, which is the VIP. Does John 529 or the parable of the sheep and goats mean that Jesus taught we need works to be saved? It seems to align with the mid-Acts dispensational view. Thank you. Um, I don't think I'm going to comment on the mid-act dispensational view. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready off the top of my head to do that. So let me just look at John 5.29 with you guys. Star Wars. Okay, it says, um, Jesus, well, I'll, I'll back up and read more. Um, truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he's granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he's given him authority. I love this. I think it's important theology. <laughs> he's given him authority to execute judgment because he's the son of man. Do not marvel at this for an hour is coming when all who are in tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who've done good to the resurrection of life and those who've done evil to the resurrection of judgment. That's a strong works related thing, isn't it? I mean, and, and it's when I say, I, I'm trying to choose my words carefully. I say works related because it's related. It's an issue related to works. Um, the parable of the goat and sheep, it's the same. It's a similar type of thing where the difference between the sheep and the goats is the way they treated people. There's a claim, hey, you're, you're Lord, Jesus, you're our Lord, but they didn't live it out. Now, the, the problem, I think, is when we take these topics and we try to use them to answer the question of how one obtains salvation. Because <clears throat> let me let me uh, <clears throat> grab two sides here: Roman Catholic, say, and Protestant. My own view within Protestantism: not every Protestant agrees on everything. Not every Roman Catholic agrees on things. Um, but Roman Catholic view is: your works are part of what achieves salvation. Um, whereas, say, at least my own understanding of the Protestant view, and I think Scripture, is that your works flow from your salvation, but they definitely flow. Like they're they're in a a guaranteed result if you get saved and you don't die works come out of your life and this is because i think god is working in me to work and do according to his good pleasure it doesn't mean i'm sinless i still sin but the fruit of the spirit is that is exactly that if the spirit's in you there's fruit from the spirit i do believe this so i could say just with jesus here those who do good will be raised to the resurrection of life but why are they doing good because they were born again and the fruit of the spirit was working in their lives. The passages we read don't strictly comment on how their salvation is achieved. They do talk about some of the indicators of whether someone's really saved. And so what I'm suggesting here is not that this, these, these passages you just mentioned, those two, uh, prove my doctrines, right? Say Roman Catholic doctrines wrong. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they're equally explainable on either system. <laughs> right? Whichever side you, 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 you side on, they're equally explainable because the Protestant side says works follow salvation, meaning you're going to, to demonstrate your, your faith through works. And the Roman, say Roman Catholic side, who I've chosen to demonstrate that view, would say, hey, those works achieve your final salvation. They help achieve it, right? A, a com you know, combined in a complex and confusing way, built on the works of Christ. They're purely his grace, but they're also your merits, which is, I think, incoherent, which is why I reject that view. Um, all right. So yeah, what I'm suggesting is, um, if we want to know how you get justified initially in the, in the real theological sense, you should read Romans, you should read Galatians, because that's where the Bible is actually talking about those issues here. It could just be evidence of salvation. Jesus warning people against, um, uh, pretending to be in the light when they're not.